welcome to today's video and today we'll be doing a simple thing we will be incorporating design controls into our alignment um, we know that various uh, alignments are designed using uh, design standards and these design standards can be applied in different countries all over the world because we know engineering principles cut across different uh, borders different um, countries they're the same uh, engineering principles because gravity in one country is the same gravity in another country speed in, the, in, in in one country is the same speed in another country so let's look at how we can create a design check set uh, to be used to check whether uh, an alignment is okay so for the design uh, check set we'll We'll use two documents. I will use the Ashto Green Book and the Kenya Road Design Manual. So for the Ashto Green Book, I'll be checking the minimum radius of a curve. And then for um, the Kenya Road Design Manual, I'll be checking the maximum uh, length of a tangent. So let's see, let's see. So if I go to the Ashto Green Book, uh, you can see this is the Ashto Green Book, and this is a table on the minimum radius for design of rural highways, uh, urban freeways, and high-speed urban streets using limiting values of E and F. So here we're just checking for a particular design speed, what is the uh, minimum radius? So you can see here, 20 uh, kilometers per hour, the minimum radius for a curve is 14.3. And of particular interest for our case here is 50 km per hour because our alignment is designed using this speed. So for 50 km per hour, the minimum uh, calculated radius is 98.4. So let's create a design check for this. So let go, go to the settings tab of the tool space. If you are at home and you toggle on the tool space, you go to the settings tab. And here under the settings tab, you can come to the curves. So we want to create a design a check set that says if the radius um, is less uh, than 98.4, it will be flagged. So here we go to the curve and I right click uh, the curve and I click on new. So a new design check set. So we are, say, we are calling it minimum radius. And here green book and then the expression we start with radius radius should be greater or equal to 98.4 according to the manual so this same manual applies in Kenya it applies in South Africa it applies in the US so the minimum radius um, for a 50 kilometer per hour road is 98.4 meters so once that is done you just click ok uh, you have the name and now it's populated here so the next thing i want to uh, create a design uh, check for is the tangent uh, length so you can see we have uh, curves and we have tangents so a maximum tangent length so this i borrow from uh, so this is a slide that I created and I borrowed this from the Kenya Road Design Manual. As you can see, uh, for design speeds less than 120 kilometers, it's either you have the maximum length be 8 kilometers or if you want to calculate an ideal length, you can calculate it by uh, doing L is equals to 10 times the design speed or 10 to 15, any, anywhere between. So let's go with the more strict uh, design check which is 10 so I go again back to the settings tab and I go to the line so the lines are the tangents and I right click and I go to new and here I call it the maximum um, length check and then road design manual Kenya and then I I take the length uh, so for this is the maximum length so meaning any length here should be less than or equal to less than or equal to 
Um, yeah, so this is okay. So it should be less than or equal to 10 times the design speed. So here the design speed. Once everything is set up, you just click OK. And then you have your two design checks. So now it's time to create a check set. A check set is just a combination of checks. So we've done two checks, the maximum length, and then we have the, max, uh, the, the minimum radius. So we are just creating a design check. So we come here to design check sets, and we right click. We go to new, and in the info, we call it... Um, max length and minimum radius. Then to the design checks uh, tab, for line, we add the maximum length check. And then for the curve, let's add it first. And then for the curve, we add the minimum radius. And then we apply, we click OK. So now it's time to apply it to this alignment. So we click on the alignment, we go to alignment properties, and then we select it and we apply it and we click OK. So let's see whether it will flag any areas where we haven't met the, the design control. So let's see, this is somewhere where it violates the design check violates the minimum radius. So this is the 2 plus 160 alignment chainage. So we go to that. So I go to geometry editor and then I go to the vista here. So this green icon to the grid view. I want to go all the way to chainage 2 plus 1. Um, and here it is. Yeah. So somewhere here we are violating the 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 radius so you can see this is 88 instead of 98.4 so let me see whether i can type in 94 here whether it will solve it so it cannot solve so this can only be solved by uh by either realigning or doing uh some grip edits here so that's something you can do. Um, so that just flags where your design has gone wrong. And it's very important for you to check if your design has gone wrong. So this is for the road designers. Uh, this is something that you have to do uh, when you're designing your alignment because the alignment is the backbone of road design. So if you like this um, video, please remember to like and to subscribe and to share it 